Welcome to Board Games Daddy. If you click on this video, that's because you're not tired with so many zombie side content. And that's right, today I'm entering for the first time in the realm of zombie side invader, but with the mm, expansion box here for Black Ops. It's completely sealed and, and Let's take a look at the box. Those guys remind me from the Warhammer uh, Space Marines, right? The, the guy with the bolter and the armor, they are also like bold. And the chainsaws, this is a, a, a direct ripoff of Warhammer. And this guy is like, like a demon. A chaos, oh. chaos demon? I think there's a fat guy there. Um, and probably it's similar mechanic for other zombie side games but then the thematic here would be space and the zombies in space and monsters so you are the black squad the best color for cover tops okay and this is an expansion for the base game which i don't own uh, i so i saw this on a good deal on black friday i acquired it and when i when i see this one i for sure acquire to have the complete thing so i don't know much about the lore and um, this is like in space in space station or sorry in the colony on the planet i believe probably inside we'll get more information but yeah only by just looking to this this is like completely the the, 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 the normal thing that you have on, on zombie sites right minis the big boss, the boards, the tokens which look exactly the same, tiles for the space station or the outpost, etc. Equipment, manual. So let's see. Let's oh. take a look inside for the first time. Zombie Side Invader Black Ops. <clears throat> Why isn't this a standalone? I would ask because for um, for Black Plague you have those like Wolfborg and others that you can play. I don't remember if the standalone also exists on some side second edition with Fort Hendrix and the, the, the Washington DC. I don't remember if they were standalones or if you need something from the base game. There's my knife. Okay. It's coming out. It's coming out. Let's unbox it. It's not that heavy, but it's very stuck. Good. Rules and missions. That's how many missions you'll get here. So the rule book is exactly at what you expect. It seems like it has the same layout as the other zombie side games. Let's appreciate. So we'll have some some crawler bots, which are enemies. Hmm, strange. All right. So you also fight. No black squad arsenal. So these guys will be friendly. Well, sentries. Wow, that's something new here. Uh, probably a, a new mechanic. So an abomination. A new Xeno, so these guys are Xenomorphs, like aliens. New tile spot and security rooms, okay, so we don't have that context. So additional missions, mission one, invaded territory, mission two, agents provocateurs, mission three, okay, you can see that on the layout from the missions you have the sentry guns in certain places, and the sentry and the bot. And then the zombies will, or the Xenos, it's not the zombies, it's the Xenos. They will come from some place. Hard, okay, where, where's the number of the mission? Mission 5, mission 5, okay. 6, 7, so it should be like 10, right? 10 missions, yes. Additional 10 missions for the base game, which if it's like a um, zombie side, second edition, it, it has 25, I'm not mistaken, so this would be 10 on more 25 or 20. In terms of tiles, I'm curious about the scenarios because I don't know anything so let's try to make some sense from from the boards. So 
there's there's no big explanation. I haven't seen the explanation of where where this thing happens, but it sounds like my guess would be some Mars-like Mars-like uh, planet. Because you see here, there's some red sand like Mars, and then there's a colony there, and then something went wrong, which is how this thing really usually happen. And uh, this one seems like they've developed some kind of nest here with eggs. We've seen this story thousands of times, right? In movies, it always ends bad. Uh, more nests, more eggs, more everything the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this place is completely messed up with this biomaterial. This one looks the cleanest, which is still a, a colony, a laboratory of some sort. Is this a laboratory? You see computers there. This is for, these are workstations. But yeah, this is a rock from Mars. Hmm, yeah. There we go. Wow! What's, what's here? Is this a box? It is. So, the cards are here, and then you have the box. Oh, you need, we need to check the, the box under. Let's, let's take a look. So, we have the characters. Andre. I don't drink, but I can put you under the table if you want. <laughs> Jean. If the initiative presents, sees it. Have no regrets. Kyle. They all look the same. Our ship carries ten no more. If it has to come, if it comes to it, we will load the children and the pilot. No one else. Okay, so this is the the one that sacrificed. Um, where they're sa oh, sorry, where they saving that one special for us? Do we just have the worst timing ever? Why is this pointing to the monster? Mm. So this is the Juggernaut Abomination, then we have the robot, the bot, parameters of Samson, protect human target, bird, Xeno infection. Okay, so that one double crosses. Oh, there's a, there's a woman here, Fiona. You were, you were expecting green skin and orange lad. That's the leprechaun, not the Martian. Green skins and horns, so is this a joke for um, Black Lake? And this seems like the Cold Moist guy. Yes, I perform surgery with this. Okay, not really, but I get tired of everyone asking that. So he has a the blade there, and he cuts those. Oh, there's another one. Another lady. Sure, the guns work, but it feels good to punch them to death. So this is like a... Bad girl. Bad, strong, masculine girl. Okay, so this box works differently from other zombie sides. So you just... There's no plastic cover. Just take this cardboard thing on top of it, and voila! Counters, bases for the characters, bases for characters, and trying to see if there is any difference here. So, this exists your character card, right hand, left hand, armor, armor, helmet. Okay, so you have more equipment options. Let's take a look at the at our characters. If we can spot some interesting stuff and differences before we go to the minis. We always end with the minis. And we always fire the biggest threat in this game. It's not the Xenos or the zombies. It's the crappy plastic that you need to get somehow. Help! that I don't see. I need to, I need to be a brain surgeon over this thing with a scissor like this. Just to make a little cut. And then we put everything inside it. It's like a, a eye surgeon. You don't have much space. If you move, if you move a little bit, you destroy the, the eye. So, you need to be super I'm that guy that when it goes to the supermarket, 
it's spent ages to try to take one, open the plastic bag when it's closed for the, like factory closed. I know this could, maybe doesn't make sense for some of you, but in my country, the bags are plastic bags. And when you ask for one, they give you one, but it comes with blues from the factory. Oh. Oh, I'm almost getting here. Ugh. These Zenos are very, very resistant. We need to beat that guy with the chainsaw too. You see, I've cut to the corner and still it doesn't go in. I'm going to use my, my nails and hurt myself at least in this call. There you go. I felt, I felt it. No? Oh man. No, not, not even. Okay, so you heard that? Collapsed. Okay. Phew! There you go, the best minute in YouTube for me cutting plastic. So we got Andre. Andre. With these actions. And then. Fiona. Jean, born leader, Kyle enhances senses, combat reflexes for Maria, and Solomon. Okay. And now the best part. Okay, so this is something that you put on the game. Now the best part, the miniatures, the miniatures. So you only have like six characters, bots. And the abomination. So this is an expansion that provides you more missions, more playable characters. I'm assuming this bot and tower mechanic is something that is introduced here. And so these guys are the Black Ops special characters, and then the abomination. So there's nothing you can do just with this because there are no no other Xenos for it to play around. So let's see these guys in detail they look because the minis are very light, um, light in terms of color they seem to be I prefer them where they are more dark it seems like the, the details you can see the details in a better way so there's the chainsaw and has like the engine for the chainsaw on the back the energy is coming from here the guy with the bolter that really looks like a space marine. And the bullets come from this backpack. And this is Bane from Batman. I am Bane, I'm going to break your back. But what I really have is the enhanced senses. This was the one with the enhanced senses. This guy, this guy looks like. I'm the boss around here, and I ha they all have these backpacks, but so what? For, for getting oxygen, and this is Maria, the other lady. Okay, so I'm curious about this guy. Looks like a dreadnought, or a spider robot from Warhammer. This guy should kill lots of Xenos. The, the Xenos should not have a chance against this guy. Why not the tower as well? Wow, I would feel very safe if I had one of these around me, protecting from Xenos. And last, the big boss, the abomination, with this tongue coming out. Seems like, it looks like a fish with this fin here. But basically, I would say this was a fatty, fatty guy. So now we can join all the pieces and see, so this is the guy, right? He has a beer. How come he has a beer? Is this made out of an animal? Doesn't seem like. Seems like more coming from a spider with those eyes. But nonetheless, he has a beer. So he's a Xeno found in an alien planet. And although he is very human like, these teeth does not correspond with anything humans have. Anyway, I didn't read the, the lore and I don't have the base game, so I'm just having 
stupid discussions here with you about these topics. And okay, let's just go go here. Forgot about the equipment cards. For you to check if there, if you are a fan, if you have these cards, these weapons, just justify or not acquiring this collection. Sometimes there's lots of repetition here. I've seen on other uh, zombie side videos. So the Blackbird SMG. So this is like that main gun here, and then wow, the mechanical arm with the shock gloves. Oxygen tank. Z and 35 crawler bot. So this guy needs a card, okay? So because it, it works like a weapon or something. Downtown bros. Oh, double gun. The grenade launcher. Woo! Nova cutters. Pss, pss, pss. Why minigun? Pyre? Pyre like is a flim. Escalation range flamethrower, so it, it flamethrows as a minigun. Wow, oh. that's range. The roaster, that's an, also a flamethrower. Solomon Chainsaw, so these are the starting, the starting gear or something, right? Is there a character with double sword? Or... No. Let's see, let's see the illumination cards. And the bags, from the bags, now the bags look like this in Invader. <laughs> so it's very technological. O2, O2, okay, O2, and the... Yeah, so I think these guys can just think of an uh, error and they can just pop up with the zombie side game. Hey, zombie side pirates! Zombies in pirates! So you have the pirates, the ships, the, the tropical island. Zombie side caveman! And then you get the weapons from the cave time. I'm gi giving you ideas, Simon. So if you want to have a call, I can place Zombie Side in, in any era. Zombie Side Egypt. Oh no! Here comes Anubis, the abomination. Yeah. Yeah, Once you have the baseline, you just need to adapt, and it will make sense. Initially, it may not make any sense, but oh. it's Vaseline. Everything gets in. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. So, if you just stumble with this video and you're a fan of zombie side content, then check the channel because you'll find many things there. Some uh, rare ca characters as well. And I'll continue to bring more. As you can see, I'm a collector. Um, zombie side is one of the things, and it's those things that never ends, and I will go after everything. So, I need your support to like the video, subscribe, share with friends, and be there for the next ones. Thank you. Bye bye.